Today in SolidWorks, we're going to be taking a look at some uh, mold and cavity issues. Uh, we're going to be dealing with a fitting uh, that we're going to create, and I'm going to show you how we can make a quick mold around that. We're going to start with a part inch template, and we're simply going to start with a sketch on the front plane. And we simply want to do a, uh, a circular sketch first. And that sketch, we're going to make point, uh, 1.125, one and an eighth. That will be our profile. We'll go to the right plane, start a sketch for our path. And let's do just a simple line arc. And let's make these two lines equal and perpendicular at the same time. Now we're going to make this line here. This is going to be 47 64 long and the arc itself is going to be a 0.875 okay and we need to make this thing tangent it's the last thing we need to do so as we make it tangent we have a fully defined sketch so we close that sketch and then we simply go to our features and our sweat ball space and pick our profile so we have our basic shape basic form that we're looking at now let's put the uh, the heads on the part. So we're going to go in and actually do an offset entity. We're going to do this a point oh six two five, and I'm going to do a uh, extruded boss base blind and a half inch, and we're going to do that on both ends. So we do it here again, offset six two five, then the extrude reversed and half inch. So our basic part here with just a little bit of modification we'll go in and create a chamfer on here and we'll do a distance distance on this. Let's do a 0 0.06 and a 0 0.06 for those distances. We select these two edges and we basically have our part there now. So we need to put this into some type of uh, mold now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create another uh, sketch on my right plane. I'm going to go normal too. And this time I'm going to grab the rectangle and we're just going to draw a box around it. And the first dimension that I want to put on it is going to be relating it to my part that I've got here. And I want this to be an eighth of an inch from the edge and an eighth of an inch from this edge. Now having it set there, we need to have enough room to put another part in here. So let's uh, let's make this uh, six and a half overall box by six and a half. So I have the shape of the box now. So let's go ahead and do an extruded ball space. And let's make sure that we have enough room here. Let's go to, uh, let's say one and a half should be enough there to clear this thing you can see there now the important thing here with SolidWorks is to make sure that we don't merge the results here because we're actually going to be in a multi-body state so we're clearing the merge results box and clicking OK and we suddenly have two solid bodies in here okay so there's our part now all we need to do is put another one over here and we can do that simply with insert features and move and copy now I'm going to select this body. I'm going to make sure that copy is checked. And I already know that I'm going to put this a negative 2.25 in the Y direction, the negative Y direction, and a negative 2.25 in the Z direction. So this is going to put this into my block. And I'm going to click OK to accept. So now I have two of these in my block. Now I simply have to go into the solid bodies select and shift select all three of them right click combine make sure that I'm set to subtract and I need to clear these selections and go back this is my main body and the bodies that I'm wanting to subtract are these so by doing that then I completely remove those from the cavity and now then I can go in and actually select here to go ahead and put a through cut here so I'm going to select these faces convert entities extruded cut and through all this face same thing I'll convert entities 
and extruded cut through all. And then we're going to do the same exact thing on the opposite side. We're going to roll it around and these faces as well will be converted and an extruded cut through all be made of each one of these. This way these are cut through and all, through and through the mold and we can uh, uh, get our parts out through all here as well. And then finally we'll put a quick fillet around the opening of these holes and we'll just use the same, uh, not a fillet, but a, a chamfer, sorry. And we'll just use the same chamfer that we used before. And we'll just select these edges to open them up. We'll click OK to accept. Now all we have to have now is the top part of the mold to finish this up. And that's just a simple mirror uh, command. Let's go into mirror and we'll use bodies to mirror. And I want to make sure that I uncheck the merged solids bo box so that I can keep that separate. And you can see there that there is our molds for those two pieces. Now we can take this one step further and we can add different sizes to the same mold that we just created. All we have to do is we have to insert a design table. So we're going to go to insert tables and design table. And I'm going to say, I've already got one out there that I can use, so I'm going to say from file. I'm going to browse to find it. And there it is, my design table for fittings. I'm going to click there and click open. And I'm going to click OK. Now, as we open this up, we're going to see that I have a design table already out there. I've stretched it out a little bit so you can see a little bit more of it. And we basically have the diameter outside diameter of the hole or of the fitting and we have the arc diameter uh, here of the radius and we also have the uh, the length of each leg here so these are controlled this right here is actually my design uh, name or the part number if you would so I created those completely and we uh, just click off in the graphics window SolidWorks is quick to tell us that the design table generated the following configurations we click OK to accept and we go in here to our configuration manager now and we see that we now have a design table here that has created us five different configurations. Now this configuration is going to be the same as the default and you can see that. But this configuration is going to be different and you can see the holes uh, getting larger here. And you can see that as we go through these that we're actually creating more and more of a different part. We go back and take a look by simply right clicking on the mirror body and hiding it and we can see there that there is the cavity for our parts to be uh, molded to. I hope this has helped. Uh, hope, hopefully look forward to a, uh, a machining portion of this video later on. I'll try to have that on there soon. Uh, if you have any questions you can always call us at 501-835-6868 or you can visit us on the website at www.secanttech.com. That's S-E-C-A-N-T-T-E-C-H.com. Thank you and have a great day.